Okay, so um, what I have here on my screen is actually uh, some, it's some R&D stuff. This is not an actual scene from the game or anything like that. Um, this is purely uh, sort of a test bed for, for testing out things like optimization and fidelity and how much, how much detail we can push for the worlds that we're building. Um, so what we're looking at here is obviously a bunch of trees that I made and speed tree and um, seeing how much we can get uh, on in the scene at once without having it fall apart and look bad. Um, and the important thing to note here is that we're getting 120 frames a second, which is really good, and we have this gigantic forest that we can go explore. And anywhere that I can fly to, I can fly up on it and see, you know, as much detail as, as I choose to put in these trees. Um, and in, eventually, we'll, you know, they'll be blowing in the wind and all that. I'm still in the process of building our, our integrated wind system. But the cool thing to note about this is, uh, if I switch over to wireframe view, you can see obviously these are very, very dense assets. They're, I want to say, about 15,000 polys at the at the near near range. But as I back up, you'll notice we're only paying for the detail that's right near us. And by the time we get out here, everything is literally just little fake cards. Yet it looks fully 3D and volumetric, and that's just some shader tricks and some great tools that uh, Unreal Engine provides for uh, for doing exactly this. In fact, this is the technology they developed to make um, Fortnite run well on cell phones. So, kind of cool. Figure why not use it for firmament and other stuff and um, take advantage of it, make it run fast and, and look good. So, all right. So, this is a, this is a, another little test scene that maybe gives a, a a look into the amount of detail that we're trying to put into every aspect of the world. So um, what we're looking at here is actually a custom wind system that I've been working on uh, just a little bit. And um, it is meant to unify the way plants, trees, grasses, flowers, everything that might get blown around in the wind um, reacts to the wind in a way that is, in my opinion, more believable than what um, you get right out of the box with, with Unreal or even Speedtree. And so what's going on here is uh, everything in this scene is just a regular old static mesh. In fact, you can see we've got a bunch of Rand avatars in there just blowing in the wind, even some spheres over here that are sort of doing the same thing. And you'll see these gusts come through and they sort of make the make the, the, the leaves flutter just a little bit as if there's a big blast of wind. Um, and what's nice about that is we can visualize it. So I'm going to real quick turn on a visualization that's built in to the system so that we can see um, we can see sort of what's happening in real time. So the blue that comes through is actually visualizing those gusts. And you can see that tracks with, with um, how far they bend and the direction they're bending. I can obviously move my wind source, so now I'm turning the direction of the wind. So now our wind is coming from the other direction. Um, I can, you know, I can crank the wind up, to turn the fan up. And so now we're getting big gusty breezes, and this would be great for like, you know, the ocean side scene or something. Um, and this just visualizes sort of how how meshes bend. And this I have written this so that it will work. Um, basically on any any mesh, which is great because sometimes we're using photogrammetry scanned grasses, sometimes we're hand building plants, sometimes we're doing speed tree generated trees, um, and this will work with all of it. 